Hey everyone, this is Ashley. Um, I am going to be doing Compline here in about 10 minutes. Um, so I hope that you are joining us. Um, Compline is the uh, prayer for the end of the day as part of the daily office. Um, it's found on page 127 of the Book of Common Prayer. If you have anything that you would like for us to pray for this evening, you can put them in the comments and uh, we will pray for those as I see them. I hope y'all had a good Wednesday. Um, Wednesdays traditionally are my favorite day of the week because they're the day that I get to spend um, with the youth, which is what I am called and lucky enough to be able to do every week. Um, so it's a little it's a little weird not getting to see them in person every week, um, but we are doing Zoom for youth group and having a great time and. Uh, I sure do miss those kids, um, but they bring me a lot of joy, and I hope y'all are finding little things that bring you joy um, in your day-to-day -day activities. Compline is something that we do um, at our uh, youth group every week, our Biscuit community, um, to end our time together. We um, gather and pray uh, Compline because it is a very uh, soothing and calming and relaxing way to kind of end the day and to, to wrap everything neatly in a bow, even when our days have been messy and untidy. Um, a little bit of prayer and time with God is, um, I think, a good way to close and to start fresh um, with another day. So we are glad that you have joined us this evening. Uh, we will begin Compline in about six minutes. Um, Compline is found in your Book of Common Prayer. Um, mine's black. Sometimes they're red. Sometimes they're blue. Lots of different colors. So whichever color you have is the same. If it's the same on the inside. Um, and Compline is found on page 127 of the Book of Common Prayer. It's part of the daily office. Um, you can also find it on bcponline.org. Um, and we are going to be reading uh, Psalm 36 when it is time. And that is found on page 632 of the Book of Common Prayer. If you have things that you would like for us to pray for today, and you can put them in the comments and we will pray for them. Um, as I see them, sometimes not all of the comments come through. So know that if I don't see them during Compline, um, it does not mean that we are not praying for you and for those things. Um, they all, all prayers are lifted up to God. So, um, Edie, I'm so glad you got your Book of Common Prayer. I was hoping that they got it to you. So I am glad to hear that. I hope you are enjoying looking through it. Um,
Another way to find the Book of Common Prayer, which I find particularly helpful, is um, there's an app called ECP, which is Electronic Common Prayer, um, that is from the Episcopal Church, and it's uh, an app for your phone. It, I think, costs like $5. Um, and then it but has everything um, that's in the Book of Common Prayer. It even has um, feast days and um, readings for each day, just like the Book of Common Prayer. Um, and it is super helpful when I am on the go um, to be able to use that as a reference and not have to carry around a big, heavy book all the time. Um, so that is another option. We will begin Compline in about four minutes, right at eight o'clock. Um, and Compline, which is uh, the prayer for the close of the day, is found on page 127 of the Book of Common Prayer. If you have um, things that you would like for us to lift up in prayer, you can put those in the comments and we will lift those up as well. Um, I also uh, have a list of things that our, our youth have asked us to pray for today um, when we meet together uh, virtually for our uh, youth group every week. They give me a list of things that they are praying for, and um, I will share those with you as well. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Carl. Hi, Vicki. I'm glad you guys are joining us for uh, Compline this evening. We will begin Compline in about one minute. Um, Compline begins on the page of 127 of your Book of Common Prayer. You can also find it under the Daily Office on bcponline.org. Um, and I hope you'll follow along. If you have things that you would like for us to pray for, you can put them in the comments section. And uh, we will get to those as I see them. Um, and also, um, if you would uh, so kindly uh, make sure you've liked our page so you don't miss any of our videos in the future, um, any of our live streams, and also um, feel free to share it. Like this is a great way to do digital evangelism and to share what's going on uh, in the body of Christ with the world is sharing these videos. So we hope that you will do that. An order for Compline is found on page 127. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. 
Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in the newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Now we're going to say um, Psalm 36, uh, verses 5 through 10, which is on page 632 of your Book of Common Prayer. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens, and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the strong mountains, your justice like the great deep. You save both man and beast, O Lord. How priceless is your love, O God! Your people take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They feast upon the abundance of your house. You give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you, and your favor to those who are true of heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And do not keep striving for what you are to eat and what you are to drink, and do not keep worrying. For it is the nations of the world that strive after all these things, and your Father knows that you need them. Instead, strive for his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well. Thanks be to God. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary, Bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. This evening we lift up prayers for Greg, Kenneth, Chris, Terry, John, Sandra, Sarah, Kim, Kevin. We pray for our friends near and far. 
for those experiencing any kind of illness and their families and the struggle it is to connect during that during this time. For our high school seniors, that they find comfort and peace in this situation. For medical professionals, for service workers, for all of our leaders and the very tough decisions that they have to make. We pray for the repose of the soul of Rosalie. We pray for patience with each other and with ourselves. We pay, pray for motivation to continue doing the work that we are called to do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. If you um, haven't liked our page yet and you want to make sure that you continue to see our videos live and um, all of our updates, make sure that you hit, uh, hit like on our Facebook page and um, feel free to share this video and share any of our videos um, and tell your friends that we are praying for them and with them. And um, I hope you have a good Wednesday evening. <laughs>